What's up, y'all? It's like two something in the morning, Monday morning. Um, I fell asleep earlier. <laughs> listen, Boosie on Drink Champs. Um, woke up, listen to Kanye West on Drink Champs. Trying to go back to sleep, but I kept thinking about these uh, White Castle sliders. One second, let me go grab them. The frozen kind, they're never delicious. <laughs> But yeah, I kept thinking about these White Castle sliders. And uh, I'm going to turn this heater off in my bathroom. And it was, I just couldn't stop thinking about it, which is crazy. I wasn't hungry. Just like earlier today, or yesterday, I was in church. I was sitting in the front row. I kept thinking about alcohol. Like, the shots, it was going through my brain. Calculate how much I'll need. And then earlier, you know, I'm, I masturbated. And it was a pretty decent erection for me, for real. But in the midst of me masturbating, I started to feel like, you know, because I'm single, I've been alone. I don't really interact with many people outside of like, man, I go to church, go to work. I get bookings, but I don't spend like intimate one-on-one -on -one time with anybody. I rarely speak to anybody on the phone. But when I was masturbating, I was like, Jason, this is how we got to where we had in the first place. You not control your flesh. It's not done. Boom. I'll be right back. It's not even lukewarm, it's still cold. You're not even showing self-control to your flesh, which is something they were talking about in the Bible, I mean in church, about the righteousness of God. And I know what God has revealed to me um, directly through conversations with other people. Um, let me go... Get these out the microwave. But I know what God revealed to me, showed me. Um, in the same breath. I realized, like, I miss having interactions with women, you know, particularly other women. But it's like I'm resistant because of certain things and mental and emotional and physical and stuff. And then where I'm at, like, financially in my life, um... You know, 
So, go on Instagram, some curvaceous females. So, show them my news feed, my whatever that I followed. They don't follow me back. So, I started following them. Then, they deactivated both my Facebook pages for the moment because I just want to minimize any distractions. Um, from where I'm at, I've been having some trouble sleeping. Uh, last few weeks, you know, I've been working different jobs and gigs. Um, so I'm on different schedules. You know, I actually. Well, no scatter. Well, I'm okay with that because I'm not trying to present myself as if I'm a perfect human being or I'm looking to operate within the confines of other people's expectations of me. Um, I'm looking to genuinely organically in this limited time on earth in this form to be myself and I realize sometimes I have a lot of superficial conversations but that's because I don't know who I could be real with anymore because nobody loves me and I don't mean people don't love me but they don't love me I think they love the idea of me. Um, but the question is, do I love me? And the answer is, I'm learning to love me. I'm learning to love me. So, not love. What other people think they want to love about me. But learn to love me. I love my humor. I love my thought process. <clears throat> my ability to learn and comprehend. <clears throat> I'm learning to stop put myself in environments where I have to be watered down. Like, I'm an entity all in itself. And I'm blessed. I think sometimes it makes me sad because being an entity within myself, it means I can be very lonely at times because my energies are just too overwhelming for some. Some people refer to me as intimidating, which is crazy because I never perceive myself as such. All I do is be authentically myself at almost every given time. But I want to have sex, but I want to have more than sex. I want to have true, genuine, intimate relations. Um, learning how to establish boundaries and respect them. That's 
it's probably a fairly new concept. Whether I realized it or not. And like I said, I'm doing these videos because it's what I've done for over a decade or more. You know, so now I went back and deleted stuff. And a lot of times I went back and deleted it because I was caring about how other people think and feel. When in reality, that was dumb because I've been successful by doing what makes me happy. And they didn't. It's crazy that I cared about the opinions of people who weren't even happy with their own lives. And I was doing what made me happy while being paid for it. While being paid, like, it's still present. I think it hit me. I don't. I don't need the approval of anybody but God. I'm accepting to myself. What happened is, I took some hits. I had some L's. I was embarrassed, but. I am who I am. I'm redeveloping my confidence. Through being okay with takes what it is. But yeah, I'm doing these videos in advance so in the near future I'm like I told you <clears throat>